Hi everyone, it's Sue. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to do another page in my prompt journal and at the end I will also show you, uh, I think there's three other pages that I've done off camera just to speed things up because I'd really kind of like to get a little bit more further done. So I thought I would do some and I'll just show you them. All right, so this one I've got here is make a vintage collage using real or faux vintage ephemera. So um, I've got a bit of a mixture, I suppose. I've got this uh, brown paper from, it looks like it's from a bag or something that was gifted to me. I've also got a page from um, a book. And I've also got this back section of a book complete with the tag, borrowing tag and so forth. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It was borrowed in 1983 and 1984, according to this. Now, normally there's a, it looks like there was a, one of those borrowing slips on there, but it looks like it's been torn off. So I thought rather than try and tear all this off, I'll just simply stick it, cut it, stick it in somehow. And I've also got this little container with some faux digital printable things that I thought it's about time I started using them. I've also got this, whoops, this stamp here, which kind of has a bit of a vintagey feel to it, and I thought I would use that as well. So let's get started. Uh, I think I might trim this down to start with so I know what I'm working with. Um, now, how am I going to do this? I think if I make it as small as possible, that would probably help. Now, I'm just looking. Yes, you can see. Good. All right. Now, let's I need to clean this bit up a bit somehow. This might prove to be a little bit trickier. Um, I'll maybe just do that. There we go. Um, okay. Now, if I pop that like that, uh, maybe the book, maybe it will reduce this a little bit. Thinking in the background somehow, maybe like so. Oops. Something like that. That's sort of the basis of it, and then um, maybe use some of this. It's a bit big, is it? Oh no, it does fit. I think what happened with these is they would take that out, and then they would put a little card with your name in, like so, and then it would go in somewhere else. I think from memory that's how it used to go. This is going back to my primary school days when I used to borrow when I was in primary school. Um, so let me just see that. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I've got lots of little flowery cards here that I thought I could use sort of to decorate. Um, somehow or other just conscious there's um, something bulky behind so I've got to be a little careful there. Oh that's a pretty flower. Maybe I could have something on that like so. That kind of looks nice with it making the diagonal. Yeah I quite like that. Um, yeah, let me see what else have I got. I don't want to overcrowd it. Oh there's a little one there. Maybe something like that there. Maybe that's a bit small. Let's have a look what else we got. Um, no. No. Not sure if that's the way to go actually. Maybe if I took those off and put maybe that. To me, they're, they're too disjointed. They need to be um, more linked. Um, I kind of did like that square look to those ones, though. And that one was up there, wasn't it? Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, or... Let's have a look. How does that look? No, I don't like that as much. I don't know why. 
I think I like the way it's sort of all squares except for that bit. Um, hmm. I think it needs something here but I don't know what. Uh, maybe, maybe rather than something like this, uh, something out of my, let's just have a look, what have I got in here? Maybe a piece of music paper or something might be good. Can't find any of course when I want it. Oh hang on, here's a little piece. A bit small though, but maybe something like that. like that. What if I put that, actually what if I moved it over a little bit, popped it there. Quite like that actually. Still doesn't solve the problem of up here. So I'll just have a, a little bit of a quick look in my box next to me here that's got all sorts of random bits and pieces. Um, got this. What else is there? Oh, hang on. I found a bit of music paper. Okay I do have that. Okay, that's not too bad, but I'm thinking the music paper might be better. It feels very thick, like there's two layers. Yes, there is. <clears throat> I wonder if I've stuck that down somewhere with two layers. <laughs> that would be right. Just going to make it a bit smaller. can't really tuck that under because it's uh, glued on but I'm thinking maybe something like that maybe a bit smaller maybe something somehow like that hmm. don't mind that I still think it needs something a bit bigger maybe uh, what else have we got I've got these but I don't really really think they suit. Here's a nice flower that's quite big. No, I still like the square. Look I could go and dig something out but uh, I really can't be bothered to be honest. That's a bigger one, maybe that one would be better. Actually maybe that one. Oh, what else have I got? There's nothing else bigger, all the others are smaller. changing everything. <laughs> Thinking maybe, actually that's a bit brighter isn't it? You know what I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah yeah I think I will leave it at that actually. What if I put that? Actually I kind of like that and I might put a, the stamp across there. Yep that's what I'm going to do. All right I'm not going to overthink it. So just very quickly distress the edges and then hopefully remember where they all go. Now you may have noticed if um, you've been watching my videos you may have noticed that I had quite a few videos up in the last few weeks and that was because I was clearing out my back catalogue I guess of videos. Now that I'm sort of up to date I'm actually going to be making less videos. Um, as I explained in my collage video uh, that I think will be up on the Monday, um, I've just decided that I really need to prioritise um, cleaning up my garden and things like that. The weather's here is we're sort of coming out of 
winter now um, and if I don't get it under control now I think once spring hits I think <laughs> it's going to be a complete disaster so I'm going to be making less videos and prioritizing my time towards tidying up the house um, and garden and catching up on all those jobs that I really have neglected lately um, I, I really do like making videos I like sharing my stuff and I probably will share continue to share maybe more on Instagram or something but um, I am going to do less videos now for a little while see how we go um, you know I may end up changing my mind after I get oh, after I get sick of um, spending all the time outside doing gardening and not much crafting but we'll see how we go but I do need to prioritize that so there will be less videos up so please don't uh, you know worry about me or anything like that I am perfectly fine but I am just prioritizing a little bit at the moment just to make sure that I get myself caught up with things that I have been a little neglectful shall we put it that way <laughs> Um, I'm sure you can all you all understand that but uh, yeah that's kind of what's happening with me at the moment um, I think that's how I had it now the music I think was under that wasn't it I'm using the glue stick this time because then I can actually uh, pop them under and mess around with them the art glitter glue is great but it's not good when you're having to move things and rethink things okay uh, now this was on here okay um, now this was here somewhere I think and this one about where it was and this one was up the top I think I'm going to have to go along and glue down some of the corners uh, this one was up here like so and this one was here oh there's something very bulky behind there so I'll just okay all right so that's the basis of it now I will glue the corners and things with the art glitter glue but I am going to Put this in the background here now do I want black or do I want brown thinking maybe black yeah I think we'll use the black and it stays on now I'm not going to try and get the whole stamp I don't um, want that I just kind of want a bits of or partial stamp and I don't think it will stamp properly anyway because of the amount of stuff on the page behind okay hopefully that's enough yep okay and we might just do a little bit more like so um, maybe some of those roses here yep okay that will do Put that away gosh it's very grungy looking isn't it <laughs> Now I've lost the pin for my glue too, so I've got to find that. Oh, well that's not working. Yeah, I just lost it within the last hour, so I don't know where it's gone. So I'm going to have to go and get another one or spend some time finding it. And hopefully I won't find it in my foot or anything like that. That's happened before. Well, you can argue, well, at least I found it, but not in my foot. <laughs> <laughs> not good in your feet okay all right pop that back there anyway and that's going to go in there and that is going to be not just that's my vintage collage using real or faux ephemera so I've actually got a combination really of both so I'm happy with that now I'll just clear this mess and I will show you I'll just hold that one up a little bit there will be photos of course so there's that one now the other ones that I have done 
let me see here we go <clears throat> all right now we have the make and nail artist trading card and attached to the page write down the materials you've used so i've made this little atc based um using an altered card now i did have to glue this with ugh, it does come out there we go uh they're photo corners and i glued them with um, craft glue because i just wouldn't glue onto the background which was just a gel print with some stamping and I think I just put some extra oxide inks on there as well and that's what I used to make this particular little um, ATC so I was quite happy with that simple but I quite liked that as a page now it's also very tricky to get back in okay so that's that one uh, now I'm just going to think which were the oh this one here adhere an envelope to the page and put a secret note or favorite image maybe if I hold it there you can see it all so here is my envelope which was just an, a, a pink envelope I put some gold edging and I've just put some napkins um, which were gifted to me recently I believe they were from Evelyn so I've just popped those on and I put a stencil in the background just to fill a bit of the space now at the moment there's nothing in there I will find something to put in there um, but that's that one a bit of washi there I don't know that was just to tone in the red uh, oh this is the other one decorate the page using only office supplies so um, post-it notes a pencil they are paper clips which uh, not the best paper clips to use as paper clips this one is another sticky note but I punched some holes in it this here they were done with highlighters uh, this here is corrector tape uh, and there's you probably can't see it actually but there's actually some of that uh, what we call invisible tape there which you can make it out just there and there's some there as well they were done with corrector tape as well complete waste of corrector tape but oh well so that was that page um, I think that was all three yes that one that one and that one and of course today's so getting a little bit further along the track so yeah happy with those thank you very much for joining me and I will see you again soon bye for now